guys, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. Today I did a very, 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 very glowy summery look. As you can see, this is the final product. If you want to see how I got this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is the red button right below this video. And if you like this video, give your girl a thumbs up. If you haven't already noticed, I do list all of my products that I use in the description box as well as the brushes. So if you don't want to watch this whole video again, they're right down below. I've been super into anything that says dewy or illuminating or anything on it. So we're going to start off with primer. And uh, the primer I've really been into is this Wet n Wild Dewy Primer. This one basically to me it looks like a liquid highlight put this all over my face like my face looks like a little shiny right now because I have like moisturizer on and stuff but like look I feel like I look like the tin man but I'm not really mad about it super glowy and then I've also been using well I mean I've kind of always been using this uh, the luminizer primer by Dr. Brandt and I only use this in like, I don't really know if this is pore filling or not, but I just like using it uh, in the areas that I have the most pores, which is really just like right here on my smile lines and like beside my nose. Just kind of pat it in. All right, now that we're all primed to perfection, I want to show you what foundation I've been using lately. And this is a Tati made me do it kind of situation. When I was in California, I made sure to go to Walgreens to pick up this one particular item because I don't know, I've been on the lookout for this here and in Texas and I just couldn't find it. So I went and got this when I was in California. This is the uh, CYO Long Lasting Foundation Life Proof. It doesn't have like the shade name anywhere on the bottle, but I know that I did get the lightest one that they had um, and I feel like it matches me pretty well. So I've actually been mixing this foundation because it's more of a matte foundation with the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector Liquid. And I think I got this in BoxyCharm a few, maybe almost a year ago. Uh, but this is in the shade Prosecco Pop. So what I've been doing is, so I'll get like a makeup brush that has like a fairly small tip on the end of it. This is just like a Wet n Wild concealer brush. And I'll get the foundation and just kind of squirt some on the back of my hand. And then I'll take the um, Skin Perfector Luminizer thing and I'll spray two pumps of it on there. And I would say that this foundation is like ever so slightly too light on me, which is fine. Uh, Cause I always feel like even if I do end up getting a little bit of a lighter foundation that I can always bronze my skin up to make it a little darker. So, but this, um, skin perfector liquid is, um, has a lot of gold in it. So it makes my, this foundation a little bit darker. So I'm totally okay with that. So I'm just mixing the, uh, skin perfector and with the foundation on the back of my hand. I'm put it on my face and I've just been using the uh, Sonia Kashuk sponge this has been my favorite sponge like I've been using it way more than my beauty blender I don't know if it's because it's bigger or what but like this is more firm I don't know it's just really nice I like it I guess if you didn't want to use like well I would say this foundation is a little on the like more full coverage side maybe medium coverage but if you didn't want to use like a luminizing like a liquid highlighter and with your foundation and you just wanted to use that uh, wet n wild primer or like a luminizing primer uh, you would need to use like a found foundation that's like has less coverage but I feel, like look it's blending out my face so fast I love it. I know you guys can't see her, but Bailey is sitting right here. She likes hanging out with mommy when she does her makeup. For concealer, I've been using the Makeup Revolution Conceal It and Define. Uh, this is in shade C1. And I've only been using this like under my eyes 
just a little bit because I feel like I'm already going to be pretty highlighted everywhere else. I don't need to highlight. And I really don't like this concealer for under my anywhere else on my face other than underneath my eyes. I don't know. So before I um, do the other eye, I want to go ahead and set this eye because I'm always paranoid about creasing. So I've been using this Essence Brighten Up Powder, banana powder, under my eye pretty much to set my under eye. So just get like a little sponge and kind of press it around in there and set it. I am going to go ahead and set my eyelids with this as well just so it's easy. And then I've been trying to use as little setting powder as possible because I want to maintain the glow, you know? And I feel like powder just like, well at least all the powder that I currently have is pretty mattifying. I want to get a powder that's not mattifying. I kind of have my eye on the Too Faced Ethereal Powder, but I just haven't gotten it yet. It's pretty much sold out everywhere online, and I'm lucky if I see it in store. I've been using the uh, Maybelline Fit Me in Fair Light 10. I was using number 5, and I don't know if you guys saw my pre some of my previous videos, but I looked like a pale ghost, and it, editing those videos was just like making me cringe. But uh, anyway, I was really, really pale, and I think it was because of this powder, but in the shade five which is way too light for my face so I'm using the bottom of my Sonia Kashuk sponge and like trying to get as little powder as possible and I really just want to set my face because I'm prone to creases I think it's so funny how I used to be matte everything I wanted everything to be matte because that's like all the stuff I have and then Poxy Charm was sending me all these like luminizing things and I was like oh I'm never gonna use those but it's so weird now I'm like I'm using all of them I want all the luminizing things All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off of camera. If you are wanting to know how I do my brows, I do have a video and I'll try to put it right up here. So that way, if you wanna see, you can go look at it. It just, it takes too long, but I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Okay, so I know a lot of people don't like to contour when they're doing like a summery look, but I like to contour a little bit. I like to contour just because I feel like I need more, I hate we're using the word definition because I feel like I say that word so much, um, but I mean, it makes sense. It gives you more definition and that's what I want. And I, you know, hardcore love my shade and light palette and I use this e.l.f. brush and we're just gonna go lightly into these two shades just like dabbing it tapping off excess that kind of hurt um we're just gonna go a little bit in here i'm not too worried about blending it out right now because i mean i'm gonna go over it with bronzer anyway and it's gonna blend it out so just know it's fine get up in the hair Y'all know I can't live without doing this. I feel naked if I don't do this. Makeup always looks crazy until the very end. You know what I mean? A little on the nose. Then I'm gonna go in with this brush that I have used numerous times for bronzer. So I'm gonna use that in the same two colors here just lightly going with that contour down here to kind of blend all this shiz out. This is just a me thing. You don't have to do this step with the chin. It's just my somewhat double chin. You trying to make an appearance? She's so cute. She didn't know what to do. Okay, so next, bronzer, which is like the main thing that everyone uses during the summer, right? Uh, so I love the Butter Bronzer. This is just the shade 
bronzer. I've gotten pretty ham into it. Um, and so I'm gonna use that same brush, this bronzer, you know, tapped off the excess. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this out here. See, went pretty well. Blended out that contour. I just don't see the point in like double blending it out. I feel like then it might start taking off like foundation or something. To me, this is like the biggest change. Bronzing my forehead, I can feel like my forehead looks very flat right now, but when I start putting bronzer on the sides, like gives it so much more dimension and it looks sun-kissed. I'm gonna put some bronzer around some areas that I think are a little too light. Just like lightly brushing it. Blending that contour on the forehead as well. So since we're still on the bronzer, we're still gonna use this. I'm gonna use this for eyeshadow. Uh, this, this is where it like is easy. Is I'm gonna use this uh, Morphe M433, which is the smaller of the two blending brushes, the, the two Morphe blending brushes that I normally use. And I just swirl it in here, tap off excess and put it in my crease. This is like the everyday makeup look I've been doing and I love it. Uh, now I'm gonna grab a smaller blending brush. This is just like an e.l.f. $1 crease brush, I think. Super cheap, doing the same thing. I just didn't want it to be too big, but I'm gonna put this under my eyes, like on the lower lash line. There, I look less dead now. <laughs> you could also just totally do with that blush, I know blush is kind of like a personal preference. Some people use it, some people don't. But I really have been liking like shimmery blushes, not nothing like crazy. Uh, but I've been loving the Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. This is so pretty. It's like a, um, it's kind of peachy. I don't know. It's warm and it's really nice. And I'm just gonna use that on my Sonia Kashuk blush brush. Tap off excess and put it where blush is supposed to go, which is on the apples of your cheeks. See, it's just so luminous. So, next, I want to go ahead and do highlight. Now, this is something that I know isn't super accessible, but I have been loving, and I'm telling you, I think this may be what have what got me into doing everything lumin luminizing. Um, but this is the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Loose Highlighter in the shade Santorini. I just so happened to be in San Francisco when her pop-up shop came out. Like, it was like the first weekend. I don't know how long it was going on. Or, I don't know. Anyway, I just so happened to be there, and I happened to walk by it when I was walking around Union Square. And I was like, eh. I'll go into the, uh, the pop-up shop. There was like, you had to like wait to go in and they like let you go in at like groups and stuff. But anyway, I didn't end up getting anything else. This is all I got because I could justify this. This little thing was $14 or something, which isn't crazy expensive, um, but you get a lot of product in here and you don't have to use a lot of product in order to get a good look out of it. So that's how I justified it. I could not justify spending $30 on a look kit. So, so I didn't do that. So this is all I got, but I'm, so I'm going to be using this. This is a beautiful highlighter and I think it's super awesome for people that are really fair as well, because I don't think it has, or at least I don't notice like the, um, like a weird color right here where, you know, wherever you put your highlight, sometimes it shows a weird color, but this, I don't see that just like when you like turn your head slightly, it's like, bing, You'll see. So I'm gonna use it on, I'm gonna use the Morphe R36, which is a highlighting brush that I use quite often. And I'm just gonna put a little bit into the lid. Like I'm talking, we use like a little. Go in here. And I'm gonna tap off in here cause you know, I wanna keep as much as I can. Let me see if it'll capture it on camera if you can see. I'm gonna blend that out. So pretty. I swatched this in the store and I was just like, I need that. 
So I've been going like in the middle of my forehead as well. Down the bridge of my nose. And on a cupid though. Just gonna glow away. Okay, so I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more and I'm gonna use this more dense brush. This is a, another highlighting brush that I have used in the past and I'm just gonna like concentrate it a little bit more here. I've never had a loose highlighter before this and I'm like loving it. Blend it out so that way there's no harsh lines. Now the face is pretty much done um, except for I want to go ahead and set my face since basically all I have left is I'm going to do mascara and lashes because yeah girl needs some lashes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I have been setting my face with... So I've been using this uh, Mario Badesco facial spray with lavender. I really like this one way more than the rose water one. Not that the rose water one is bad. I just really love the scent of lavender. So love this. And then I've also been using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Another thing that I got in BoxyCharm that I never thought I would use. Here I am loving the crap out of it. So I like using this first to set everything because I don't really know that this sets very well. At least I don't, I don't know. So I just use this second. So I'll just go ahead and show ya. It smells so good. I feel so relaxed. Okay. And then this one, you have to shake it. You have to. And this if you're not into like little glitter particles on your face, I really wouldn't recommend using this, which I guess, you know, it kind of comes with the territory of illuminating, but this basically puts like little glitter all over your face. So your face looks so shiny. It is it's like such a micro mist. I like it, but it kind of feels like you're not putting anything on your face in a way. So I feel like I'm probably using a little too much because I don't feel it like actually touching my face, but it feels nice. Mm, looking so glowy. I am loving it. Oh yeah, and I'm also gonna do like a lip too, so don't worry. Okay, so for mascara, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which is something that I haven't used in a while. I actually just repurchased it. I love it. I'm just curling my lashes with a Revlon eyelash curler and I'm sorry if this blocks your view a little bit but I when I do mascara especially when I don't have eyeliner on I like to get my mirror and put it like this so I'm looking down so I can get all of my lashes all the way down to the root and do my best to not get it on my lid so I'm gonna try that right now I want to say I learned this tip from Jaclyn Hill. Oh yes, success. So I don't really want to have you guys sit here and watch me put lashes on, but I am using the Ardell Wispies. These are my favorite lashes. I do have to trim them a little bit. I'm not sure if you can even tell, but um, I'm gonna be using the bottom pair. So that's how much I trim them. It was only like three little clusters. Lash glue that I love is this Kiss. Uh, strip lash adhesive um, latex free with aloe this is just really good it doesn't irritate my eyes which I do have issues with other lash glues irritating my eyes I will be back and I will have lashes on and it'll be great okay lashes are on so now I am going to do uh, mascara on my bottom lashes so I like using these particular lashes uh, when I'm not wearing eyeliner because the band is so, I mean, it's basically clear and you just have like lash lashes attached to a clear band. It looks more like your natural lash together and it doesn't look, I don't know, it doesn't look like you have a lash band there. So I just wanted to throw that in there really quick. Now I'm going to grab that highlighter again, the Kylie highlighter. And I'm gonna grab a really small eyeshadow brush. Right, this is a Sony Kashuk number no. six brush, and I'm just gonna use this for the inner corner and the brow bone. Ooh. 
Didn't even have to dip back in for the other eye. Whew. Oh, oh. If you wanted glowy, this is the right video for you. That is for sure. Okay, so because I'm using a lot of glowy products, I don't want to use like a... Sorry, I'm using this Burt's Bees lip balm underneath my lipstick I'm about to put on. But um, because I'm doing glowy everywhere else, I don't think I need like gloss or anything on my lips. But I don't want like strict drying matte either. I've been trying to figure out what lipstick to put on and I've tried on like six different ones but the one I finally decided on was this uh NYX soft matte lip cream in this shade Zur Zurich that's the lipstick I decided on wearing um but this is it for the completed look um I know super 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 glowy and may look a little more glowy on camera than it does in person I feel like it looks kind of natural like if I were oily, but not like gross oily, I don't know. But this is a makeup look that I have been wearing. I feel like you could pair this with a much bolder lip color as well and it would look just as great, but I'm just trying to, I guess, look on the natural side, but like my best self, I guess, I don't know. But if you did like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button right under this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. God, just like look at this highlight. Living my best life with this highlight, I swear.